Always Tuesday. Welcome to another Tuesday night live stream Q&A with me, Leon Bartrop, on our brilliant community. Hi, guys. Well, if you've never come here before and you're watching this on playback, what normally happens is between 45 minutes and an hour, we normally have a, everyone come in and we answer questions and queries and we help each other and we give reviews and, you know, we just try and help each other in this community. Every Tuesday, every Saturday, we go live, either from the bank or from the man cave. Dominic Carter's here, Dan Williams, Carby, Steve-O, Elvis Berry, Chris Sands, George Anderson, Lewis Anglis. Good to see you all tonight, mate. And we got a special Summit Tackle giveaway. The main man himself, Gavin Johnson, is in the house tonight. And he's going to give away, he's going to pick one lucky subscriber. And they're going to win a set of the new mini, three rod mini buzz bars. So... If you want to go early or whatever, watch it on the playback, to see who wins. I'm going to announce it near the end. And uh, it'll be just one randomly picked lucky subscriber. But you've got to be a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed, you must subscribe. Matthew Randall, evening. Andy Smith, evening. Jason Allen, good to see you. Toby Wilmer, good to see you as well. We've got 78 people in here already. Dizzy Beano, evening. Anthony Smith. Evening, Gildris, good to see you, mate. Aaron Paul, Brian Silva. It's good to see such a lot of you in here on a Tuesday night. 111 people in here already. Guys, we, we're about, let me just have a check. I'll tell you what we are. We're about, let's have a look. Let's have a look to tell you how many subscribers we've got. 6974. We're 26 away from 7,000 subscribers. Would you believe that? In the year we've been running this, from nothing to 7,000, it's all thanks to you guys for watching the videos, inspiring me to do more. Well, we've had a bit of a nightmare tonight as well. Couldn't get the computer running until about... Well, a minute before he's meant to go live. So it was, we was going to have to do it on the phone at one point. Evening for the Friday night, Carper. Mick Bailey, good to see you. Lee Hamblin, John Davey. The dog, he's barking downstairs. Luke Mantney, good to see you. Paul Burstow, Gary Underhill, evening. Who's out there fishing tonight? Who's out on the bank tonight fishing away? James Green, good to see you. Graham Ronan, good to see you here, mate. Mike Blake, evening as well. We've got 178 people in the house. Blimey, watching the stream, how mad is that? Remember when we first started about three or four months ago doing the streams on a Tuesday or a Saturday night? I think we had about 30 people in here, and it's just grown. This community is great. It's growing at such a rate. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Sean Rowland's good to see you. Lewis Maguire. Louis Maguire even. David Etock, good to see you as well, mate. Sean Rowland says he's got 250 quid to spend on a new set of alarms. What would you recommend? Guys, give him some recommendations. I know what I'd recommend, but you give him some recommendations. Darren Swinnick, evening. Mikey Boy went for a few hours today and he had four. Good for you, Mikey Boy. George Vance is that common on the previous vlog was mid. Thanks, mate. Boogie 1983 had a 17 and a half pound common at 5 a.m. this morning. Good for you, mate. Well done. Catching anything this time of year is a bonus, especially with those temperatures dropping. I took the temperature this morning because I went fishing the last couple of nights, blankety blank, checkbook and pen, but the water temperature is below 10 degrees in the south of the country anyway. North of the country, I think it's even lower. It's down about six or seven degrees. So it's winter time. It's time to change over their pop ups. It's time to it's time to wrap up warm and use more particles. Craig Hutton, good to see you. Nick Minter says you can't beat the Delgims. Delgims ticks. I Stevie Nevels. That's what I've got. 
Evening the Vaping Carpet, good to see you. 200, 210 people online, crazy, isn't it? I think our record is 265 or something, so you never know. If you're just tuning in, guys, don't worry, you haven't missed the free giveaway by Summit Tackle. The man himself is downstairs having his dinner at my house tonight, so I've missed out on my dinner to go live. I'll be having that afterwards, and we've picked one person randomly, I might add. We haven't just gone through a list. We've got a little bit of software that picks one person. We pick that person, they're going to win a three rod, a set of three rods, fixed mini buzz bars from Summit Tackle. They're the ones which are seven inches at the front, sorry, eight inches at the front, seven inches at the back. If you like your rods really tight, they've just released them, Summit, about a month ago. And it's what I've been using. I like my rods really close together. And these are the ones. Paul Burstow says, all round Lils for dinner. Well, Mrs. B has been out and got a kebab on her way home from work. So we've got a massive kebab to eat. I've got to heat it back up again, though, because I'm talking to you guys. Graham the Dodge Green, good to see you here again, mate. Lloyd Satchel, evening. Delkim's on eBay, Nick Minter says. <laughs> He'll be sharing with a fluffy one, he certainly will. Carl G, good to see you, mate. Kylie Jones, yeah, Chinese. Good for you. Steve Berry says, white or red maggots? I like white maggots in, in the winter time. Definitely. I put a, like, a, if you're doing like a, if you get buy five pints of maggots or three pints, make sure 25% of them are red, and the rest are whites. That's what i found works. And some people will swear by reds. It's just personal preference on what your um, lake responds to. Dave Wright says, hi, Leon, best weather pressure to fish in? Really good question, that one. It all depends on the lake. I fish lakes, deep lakes, where you've got high air pressure, you think you're not going to get a bite, and you get bites. I think it matters in some situations, but, you know, then fish will just want to feed where they want to feed. We all like a low pressure, southerly, southwesterly, warm. You know, a lot of times it just doesn't happen on those winds anymore, does it? So I can't really say what's the best pressure. It depends on the lake and how the fish are reacting. Welsh carpers want to see me eating a kebab. I don't think so. Large donor with chilli sauce. Wayne Ice Four is waiting for the Chinese to be delivered. You probably hear the carp dog in the background barking downstairs. Evening, Roy Close. Good to see you. Danny Glee's just had pizza. Who else is out on the bank tonight? Salad, of course. Of course, Paul Jarvis. Paul Burstow says he liked the carp cast interview that we did. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that. And a lot of good feedback on that, actually. Good evening, Ian McHale. Evening, Richard Joseph. Ben Brown's watching from Germany. International again, aren't we? Keith Oakey's here. All this black chicken charcoal hoodie, and it only takes one, only takes one bite mug on Sunday. Hope you enjoy them, Keith. Brian Mills had a nightmare, thirty-six hours fishing. Michael Lang, evening. David SLFC says hi, Leon. Quick question about leads: Does the setup matter between inline clip when using bottom baits or pop ups? It depends, really. I like to fish a sort of pattern oyster rotary rig when I'm fishing in silt or fishing with things like the hinge stiff rig or the um, like the D rig and I prefer to use like a clip system when I'm fishing on harder ground with like um, a multi rig or a Johnny Mac rig or a stripped back uh, coated braid section with a bottom bait rig. Steve Jarman says, Carp Dog just eating your kebab. Probably is, actually. He's probably down there scoffing a lot, knowing him. Luke Mead said, what's the latest on One Bite t-shirts? Uh, I've got the Only Takes One Bite. They will be coming, uh, hopefully, this weekend. I'm going to upload a few, uh, a few different other designs and hoodies. Leon, how can I get the heavyweight hoodies off you, they're not on your website. Do you mean the um, these ones with the coloured hoods? 
I haven't put them up yet because they're a little bit more expensive. They're probably going to be about 34 quid then once. They're a bit heavier and you've got a coloured um, inner as well. Here's a carp dog. He's just run in the carp dog. Look. Look who we've got. Someone's bringing me a cup of tea. Look. <laughs> Look. Look. There's a few hands. Look. Mr. Summit himself. Gavin Johnson. Who's going to be giving away <laughs> some nice prize, well, a prize tonight. So... Give a big shout out to Gavin. He's the guy who runs Summit Tackle. So, big shout out to him. You like those hoodies, do you? Leon, get the We All Know a Noddy t shirt. Yeah, I might do one of those actually. Dan B says he put ground nut oil on his boilies at the weekend and the bottle went cloudy overnight due to dropping temperature. Does the temperature of the water affect the oil? Most definitely. Anything below 10 degrees. That nut oil will solidify. Use hemp oil. That won't solidify. Big up the gav. <laughs> it's bloody freezing out tonight. Look, a bit of history of summit with the bosses about. Look, look at look at them all. Say hello. My dad's called Gavin. Yeah. Good name. <laughs> oi, oi, Gavin. Look, you reading them? Fair play on the giveaway. You see me Tesco's, walk up to him and say, oh, I know you. Tesco's in, Tesco's in North London. Look, You know what he looks like now? Walk up to him. Say, where's my discount? <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Randall works in Angling Direct. Summit Tackle is the nuts. Good man. Order some more, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Any bickies, Paul? No, we haven't got no bickies. We've got kebab to eat in a minute. My wife is called Gavin. Yeah, really? <laughs> really? So, hello to Gavin from me, Leon KS Hengelsport. Ah, uh -huh. hello, sir. Yeah, there you go. Ben Brown. Big fish evening to you, mate. <laughs> it means you die, you barn it black. <laughs> Get on the summit tackle. Nice ink, Gavin. Show them your ink. Show them your ink on your arms. Look. Look at that. Look. Proper, isn't it? Look at me. Look at my ink. Non existent. No worries, Nick Warner. Good to see you. Hope you enjoyed Carl's video, which you put out Monday. Little mention for you, Nick Warner, on there. Summit for nothing tonight. Nothing's for nothing, is it? <laughs> it's a 30 pounder in his late called Gavin. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Gavin's eating my kebab. Yeah, sounds about right, Carl. I'm going to name my next dog Leon. Black chickens are all... Oh, really? <laughs> Cranky Carpers Carl's vlog was good, yep. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go over to Carl G's YouTube channel and look at the vlog that we did on Sandhurst. Uh, I've got mine coming up this Monday, so you'll be able to see the, the other half of the vlog. Black Chicken Tattoos. Evening George Vane, Tommy Tucker. Leon, do you have to travel far for the lakes you fish, Park Lake and Sandhurst? About an hour and a half I travel. Mark Beaver says, which camera would you recommend between Canon EOS 750D or Canon EOS 200D? 750D, that's what I use. One of my cameras is a 750D with a flip round screen. Take some good pictures with that. Check out Leon's pie, yeah, the pie in the video on Carl's channel. Evening, Joe Murphy. Big up from Bristol. Carl, Kylie Jones asks, many lakes in my area? There's loads of lakes in my area. Brad Assetier says, fish were showing all over last weekend, some boshing out, some just head and shouldering. What do you guys read into this? Uh, they were just probably feeding or moving. Daniel Bryan says, he's liking the Tempest, got to convince the missus. It's a big investment, isn't it? 650, 700 quid without the skull cap.
Evening, Phil Humphreys. Brian Sill says, what's that cup Gavin's got? I, I don't know. It's just a cup Mrs. B's given him. I don't know. Carpy Steve-O says he's blank four times. He's always thinking he's doing something wrong. Not always doing something wrong. Sometimes that's just the way it is. Well, we've got 240 people watching at the moment, 15 minutes in. Evening, Darren Wilkinson. Paul Jarvis says, Summit tackle to peak of performance. You like the man cave sign? <laughs> Dennis Williams says he had a PB common of £45, two ounces of the weekend. Well done, Dennis, mate. Ping us over some pictures to the website. Evening, UK Carpenter. Should have given him the Noddy Cup. <laughs> Ask Gab, does he do student discount? <laughs> he don't do no discount. <laughs> Liam Barnes, good to see you, mate. 255 people. 265 is our record. So we may beat it tonight. Dave Fisher said, why does carp fishing cost so much? It's just the way it is, isn't it? People have to make a living. But you can shop around, eBay, Look at the stuff from China as well. They've got lights and head torches and stoves and God knows what. But buy them and you buy twice normally. Well done, that car. Broke my PB Saturday, £27. John the Fish, evening, Neil. Love the vlogs. Thanks, mate. Thanks for watching them. Last time he's asking, how do you overcome bream when they find your spot? If I've got a lot of bream in a lake, I'll fish just boilies. I won't put no particles or pellet in, no sweet corn, nothing like that. And I'll fish double 18 or 20 mil, mil boilies. And you won't catch as many. You'll still catch the odd one when they hang themselves, but you won't catch as many. You won't be up all night. Ben Wallace says, what's the best rod you've had? Um, I've had a few good rods. The ESP ones were good. Uh, the Fox Horizon XTs are good. The Lion Carp ones I'm using now are pretty good. That carp says, what freebies are we give being given away? Well, what we're giving away tonight to one lucky subscriber of the channel is a set of the new Summit fixed three-rod mini buzz bars. The stainless ones. Morgan Emma says, am I fishing this week? No, we we." are off to Belgium and Holland tomorrow, doing some work. Going to see a few different shops. Yeah, let's listen there. He get Gavin a chair, poor son. Get Gavin a chair? No, he, he deserves kneeling down like that. Oh, it's really flicking overnight. 270 people. That must be a new record, I reckon. 270 people. And it's all thanks to you guys. Gavin Cross needs some buzz bars, don't we all, Gavin? <laughs> Roy Daniel says, has Gavin been fishing down in Surrey? Gavin doesn't go fishing. He doesn't go fishing. He's been once in Italy when we was over there last year or year before. Too busy. Can't be Steve. Are you still doing vlogs in Holland? Unfortunately, won't be doing no vlogs. I'll be sending a few pictures to my Instagram account of that, but won't be doing any vlogs because we'll be working. Get Gavin on a vlog with Barney. Proper session. That can't be had. 280 people in the house now. Definitely a new record. Good to see you, Philip Grimshaw. Dominic Carr, good to see you. I thought Summit did chairs. Different company. Different Summit company. That's a camping company. Loving the vlogs. Cheers, Dean. Glad to have you guys watching all the vlogs. Red Light District in Amsterdam. Don't think we have time for that. But you never know. Gareth Rickham says, Leon, have you ever come up north fishing? Peterborough is about the furthest I've been. Or I have fished Willow Lake near Leeds. Once, many years ago. Uh, Roy Daniels, believe, believe of them hookers have been down there. Yeah, in Surrey, wasn't it? That's why he's asking whether he's been fishing in Surrey. Yeah, it's on the paper, isn't it? In the sun. Adam Ridley says, what's your Instagram name? 
just Leon Bartrop Carper, I think it is, or just Leon Bartrop. But you can also check out the Summit Instagram page and Facebook page. Will Summit make drones? No, Carl. <laughs> <clears throat> what happens when you take the carp dog fishing for the day without the bed chair? I don't take him without the bed chair. It'd be all hell would break loose. Pandemonium. He'd be all over the place. Sean Castle, 280 fox are crapping themselves tonight. Maybe. 283 now, it says on here. Ian Smith, good to see you, mate. Where's the carp dog? He's downstairs having kebab. He's probably eating my kebab. <laughs> Leon, can you ask Gav whether he would be a sponsor next year for the charity event in Germany? I will peer him tomorrow. You, Leon, would be most welcome. Well, Gavin won't be welcome then. No. <laughs> PM him, hassle the life out of him. That car's been baiting heavy and struggled. 12 mil, 12 mil singles did the trick. Yeah, this time of year, as it gets below 10 degrees, I tend to... Go smaller baits, 12 millers, 10 millers. Definitely, you get more bites. Gareth Price, good to see you, mate. Give you a little shout out there. Looking to get a new bank stick and buzz bar set up. No really good ones. Definitely go check out the summit page www.summittackle.com. Any views on the new Fox Black Label Slick Bobbins? Uh, I haven't seen them in the flesh. They look all right, but wait over about the next four or five months, Summit are going to be bringing out some rather special bobbins. <clears throat> Bazagon Fisher says, who's on the photo behind me? That's me when I was younger and more good looking. Ian Smith says, what's new in the pipeline from Summit? We've got some brilliant stuff coming up. We've got some proper, proper, proper anodized range coming up proper anodized better than anyone else's just wait for that coming up we've got bobbins loads of stuff europod next year <coughs> loads of stuff coming up jake douglas says adjustable buzz bars look the nuts they are good i've got a set here proper heavy I've just take just taking them off me rods to put on the fixed ones last week Proper heavy, they are. Proper, proper well made. <laughs> you can have me wife if I have a pod. <laughs> I can have your wife if you can have a pod. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Madrick, little shout out to my daughter Brooke. She's eight and on her latest overnight, she took six. Really happy. Shout out there to you, Brooke. Good on you. Kevin, Kevin Davis, good to see you. 288 people on here now. 23 minutes in. Any news on the net, Gavin? We will be doing a net at some point, some it will be. Yep. Next year, hopefully. You've aged like a fine wine, sir. He's also bald, Dominic Carter says. I've always been bald. bald. I was born bald, I think. Good luck next week, Dan B. Addis McLevick. We, where are you from, Ad Addis? Rod Pod or singles? Definitely singles. Roy Daniel says, Gavin, get the Team Leo discount codes going. <laughs> Keith Oakey says, you can't find the laser pen that I mentioned. If you go to someone called Mark Dean's Facebook page or his Instagram page, Coda Pops, K O D A Pops, message him on there. He'll be able to give you all the details about the laser pens. Black chickens are awesome. Any chance you guys will visit a shop in Eid in Holland? Not sure where Eddie or Eid is, uh, but we're going to Rotterdam. We're going to Hengelsport Vogt, Hengelsport Fauna. Uh, we're going to Carp Shop Belgium, I think. Carp Shop Double XL Belgium. We're going to a few different ones. So the best thing to do is speak to the shop and get them to contact us, and we'll put them in contact with our distributor in Holland. Gareth Price, is any idea on the Witchwood Riot reels? For the price, I think they're good reels. 
Carper Phil Edwards says, what's the weight of your biggest fish? Uh, 56 pound, three ounce. Addis is from Bosnia. That's a really good place to go fishing, Addis, isn't it? It's really, there's so many big fish out there. Gwyn Lewis from North Wales, good to see you. 295 people in here now. Wonder if we'll get to 300. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? 300 people in here. Cranky Carver's good to see you, mate. Come on the 300. Yeah, it'd be nice to see 300, wouldn't it? Five more to 300. Yeah, come on. Bounce it up. Let's get a few more people in here. <coughs> Dirty Harry's Bar in Rotterdam, Brian Silver says, we're staying in a place called Tilburg tomorrow night, if anyone knows it. How long before the Summit Pod is coming out as I'm buying one at Sandown? The pods will be available at Sandown. They're already available. The two pods are stainless and the cobalt black. I was talking about the Euro pod, which is going to be a bigger pod. Just specifically for fishing the big lakes in France and that. Mark Beaver says, spooled up with Garner, GTHD, good recommendation. It's really nice line. It's a nice line, isn't it, Mark? It's good. It's good like cast really well. 302, it says on here. It says 302 on my screen. Let's have a look. Philip Grimshaw says, is that you on the picture? Can we have a closer look? It's definitely me. We're waiting for Danny to turn up on 299 Maximus. 302. I like what you've done with your ear. Needs yeah. <laughs> cutting. Top Penguin, which is AD Blanford. How do you on? And Gammy, look, he's here. <laughs> he's here, AD. We have to get you on here as well. Door direct next to Rotterdam is a nice place. Neil Trimnell says, what baits do you have the most faith in at this time of year? The ones that are really highly digestible. I'll be using SSP baits, System X, which has got lots of liver in it, lots of digestible ingredients, you know, bird foods, that type of stuff, with a nice sort of creamy, mapley sort of undertone to it. You know, it's, it's got tiger nut meal as well, all digestible stuff, which go through the fish this time of year with a nice flavour package. Oh, the cart dog's just come in. He's playing here. Here's the cart dog, look. Here he is. Look, here's the cart dog. They come mad, they will was a... Here he is, little tail wagging. Let's put it there. Boy. Bless him. You don't see him very often, do you? Hello, Fluffy, yeah. Uh, Community is growing. Big up the chickens. Definitely. Over 300 earlier on. 302, I believe. Bless the carp dog. Well, in about 15 minutes, we're going to announce the winner from Summit Tackle. <coughs> who's who's going to be the subscriber who's going to win the fixed three rod buzz bars. The mini ones, the ones which are eight inches at the front, seven inches at the back. So you like to so get your rods really tight, as some of us like doing. He's after me biscuits, Mike Swift, definitely. Barney in the house, UK Carper. Yeah, he had the kebab in his teeth for certain. Luke Adams says, looking for a cheap new bed chair. Any suggestions? Look at the Witchwood ones. The compact Witchwood ones, they're pretty good. I use one of those for me sort of spring and summer fishing. Really light. And about 100 quid. Addis Mutlovic, Germany's carp heaven. Yep, certainly is. Loving the t-shirt, Phil, Phil Edwards. You can get these on the website, www.leoncarper.com. And the hoodies and the bobble hats and the beanies, everything you can get on there. And don't forget also, if you're not already a member of the Close Facebook group, do a search on It Only Takes One Bite, 
and you'll get your get yourself in there, request to come in and we'll let you in. And it's just like this, asking loads of questions, you post up your pictures, your videos, anything. Kebab with gingered up biscuits. Jason Madwick says, Leon, tell my brother here, spoms are not for trees. They're definitely not for trees. Andy Green says, where is Summit Tackle? It's based in Enfield, isn't it? Chingford. Chingford. North London. North London. It's a manufacturer. <coughs> Kylie Jones says it's a really helpful group. That's the only takes one bite. Close Facebook group. Keith Oakey, when will yours come? It should be with you very soon. If you don't get it by the weekend, let me know. And I'll see what's happening with the printers. Catchy AP, good to see you as well. 306 people watching. That must be a new record. They knew I was here, didn't they? Yeah. If you see me Tesco, say hello to him. <laughs> or email him as much as possible. Tell Kev I love him. <laughs> Kevin Parker. Kevin Parker. Brian Silver says, track a flat, six bed chair, <laughs> 160 quid. Get the man a chair. He looks like cut. No, he can, yeah, he, I am. He can I suffer. Am. I haven't got another chair for him. Evening, Warren Clark. Good to see you. 307 was the maximum in green. Yeah, we smashed it. Been on the Summit website, some good kit on it, mate. Definitely, MJ Murr. Check it out. It's good. It's a good bit of kit. Properly made as well. Thank you, sir. Darren Thompson says, what editing software do I use for my videos? Well, I use Final Cut Pro X, which is an Apple bit of software. Evening, Chris Coates. Good to see you. <laughs> Gavin, who needs enemies when you got Leon? <laughs> I've got to spend about seven hours in a van with him tomorrow, driving to Belgium and Holland, so he can suffer tonight. Let him sit on your lap. I don't think so, Lee. That's a good idea. Robert Stafford said, why Tesco's? Is he on the checkout? Oh. No, but he loves going in there on a Friday afternoon. <coughs> Mike Swift says, size... Hook for a 10 mil pop up. I'd say probably <coughs> a size 8. Roy Daniel says discount goes, Gabs, or your email is going on the plenty of fish. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Carp and kebabs can't be bad. I bet the shop, I bet he shops in Lidl's. <laughs> Save some money. Yeah. Seven hours in a van after a kebab. Good luck. <laughs> Going to have to check out the Summit website. Definitely, John. Go and check out some of the kit on there. Really good stuff. Tommy Tucker says, Leon, will Summit deliver to Ireland? Yeah. Yes, yeah. see? Yeah, definitely. Has Gav got a dog? I have. Yes. I've got a blue staff. Gildred says, Leon, how do you prepare oats? If you go and look at my video about preparing hemp seed, it's exactly the same way. I mix the hemp and the groats all in at one time. That video will tell you all about how to do it. Owen Pierce Priest says, yes, you follow me on Instagram. I follow everyone on Instagram. James Green says, safe trip, Leon and Gav. Thanks, guys. Gav looks like a young Peter Kay. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm going to start calling oh. Peter K from now on. Oh, my. What's going on there? <sighs> Blue Staff, he's minted. I think he probably nicked it. <laughs> <laughs> Ian R, any clothing on the Summit website? Yes, hoodies. They do hoodies, um, hats, beanies. Polos. Polo shirts, T-shirts. Who's Mark Pictures? <laughs> Will you be a guest speaker at Sandown? Unfortunately not, but they haven't asked me to do it. <laughs> Eli Cop says, if you count the misses, I've got two dogs. <laughs> That's a bit <laughs> strong, isn't it? Summit gear looks quality. Yes, Colin, definitely. It is. It is proper good quality. Others, I wouldn't use it, and I wouldn't tell you guys it's good either. 
Stuart Cox, have both your dogs met each other? No. Not the carp dog. No. MJ Mercer says, Leon, are you doing the shows with Gavin and Summit? Most definitely. We'll be at the Sandan show at the end of the month, 24th, 25th, I think it is. Yep. <coughs> we'll also be at the big one, the Brentwood show. We'll be at Northern, uh, Northern Angling show. We'll also be, there's another one as well, the Zwolle show as well. Is he your brother? No, my brother's much uglier than him. <laughs> Brian, ben Wallace says, what do you think of the Fox MXR Plus Alarm? Is that the new one, Ben? If it is, I don't like the look of it. Jake Douglas says, are you part of the Summit then? Yes, I'm part of the Summit team. Ian Smith says, I want a pay rise. <laughs> First, uh, Ian Smith says, Summit Tackle is absolutely first class. I can vouch for that as well. 312 people now in the room. How crazy is that? So, shall we tell you about the person who's won the three-rod fixed mini buzz bars from Summit Tackle? So I've got the name written down there. And I haven't seen the guy in here. He's normally in here, but I haven't seen him in here. I, th well, I think he's in here anyway. What do you reckon, guys? Is that a vote? Give us a thumbs up if you think. Oh, we'll be getting rid of him, I think. Ooh. Just trying to look for the old. Uh, oh, I don't know where he's gone. No, had a bit, of, had a bit of a troll coming on here. What do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon? Do you want thumbs up? Yeah. Do you want to see the um, see the winner of the three rod mini fixed summit buzz bars? Right. Okay. It is. There you go, Steve Shurry. I don't know if he's in here or not, but he's the lucky subscriber from the channel. Well done, mate. I will be contacting you. You've won yourself a set, which is a pair of Summit three-rod mini stainless fixed buzz bars. Well done to Steve Shurry. And I can guarantee you that that was picked at total random. But I'm sure we'll have more giveaways in the future, won't we? We'll have some more giveaways in the future for the subscribers and that. So, well done, Steve Shurry. His name is Steve Shurry. I don't know if you're on here. I can't see you, Steve. I'm Steve from Surrey. Not Steve from Surrey. <laughs> Steve Shurry. S-H-U-R-E-Y. But I'll be having, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be having a SSP Bates giveaway as well. A little package they're going to put together for me, for you guys, for another lucky subscriber. So, plenty of prizes to come in the next few months, especially for Christmas as well. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a, a special one with hoodies and t-shirts and kit and tackle and loads of shit. I'll be giving away. To all you subscribers, because you're the guys that make the channel. One a week giveaway, I'd love to. I can't afford it. Gav's just popped a blood vessel <laughs> there. He has. His little head's gone down, isn't it? Summit Saturdays, would you reckon? I don't think you'd go over that somehow. Be nice to have a track of Tempest V2 giveaway. Well, contact them, tell them to send me one, and I'll give it away. No problem, John. Joel the fish. Don't want any shit. <laughs> Keep that. Anyone tried the faulty sleeping bag? Uh, I've got the faulty sleeping bag, the tech light. I can recommend it definitely. It's lovely. I use it because it's so lightweight and still warm. I mate, that's a good idea. A 48 hour, 24 hour session with me. I'll tell you what I do. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, I will give away a 24 or maybe a 48 hour session, tutorial, social, whatever you want to call it. 
as one of the prizes. A special 48-hour session when we hit 10,000 subscribers. Definitely. Thanks for suggesting that, Mike. Steve Berry, yep. Good to see another Gavin, yep. <laughs> Dennis Williams, thanks, mate. Tell people, spread the word. As soon as we get to 10,000, I'll give away a 24 or 48-hour tutorial, social, wherever. Maybe Sanders, could be Farlow's, could be maybe up north, if you come from up north. We'll see. I'm off to create more YouTube accounts to get the 10,000. <laughs> Will it include pies? Definitely, Nick. We'll bring a pie. We'll bring some pies along. Right close at Sanders. Be a good prize. Yeah, that'd be, that could be a good one. Brick Dunmo. He loves the hoodies and the T-shirts. Will Summit be doing any black deals on Friday? Not quite sure yet, Peter, but possibly yes. <clears throat> M is up for that session, definitely. Guest session, Welly. Wish I could, but can't at the moment. Best value for money, big pits, Leon. Um, not really too sure, because I use my SS3000s and have done for like 15 years. So I don't tend to look at what else is out there real-wise. Let's hope so, Morgan Evans. 10,000 round the corner. Do you want the charity pool, Jarvis? I always, every year, always give away a 24-hour session to whatever charity it is. Help the heroes normally. Carp dogs going mental behind me. Come here. Carl G, love, love your style, mate. How about a tour around Summit's factory, Ian Smith? Mm, mm. That could that could be that could be a good little video, couldn't it? A little vlog. I might do that one. Next time I'm up there. I'm going to do a little tour and post it up on the channel. It must be at CNC Machines. But you must like CNC Machines, <laughs> Gavin said. Come here. Right, guys. I'm going to call it a day because we're almost 45 minutes. My kebab is freezing cold now and I've got heat back up in the microwave. Thanks for all being here. Don't forget, you can check out the hoodies and T-shirts and hats www.leoncarpet.com you can check out all of Summit's stainless and cobalt black kit at www.summittackle.com check it all out, proper bit of kit thanks to Gavin for giving the free giveaway tonight for us hitting more or less 7,000 subscribers I'm sure he'll be back for another one at a later date and thanks to you guys for everyone for making this a record breaking I think 307 people we had in here tonight Making it what it is. We're making this community what it is. See you soon, guys. Don't forget, new video coming out tomorrow at midday. Another one coming out Friday midday. And I'll see you for the next Saturday live stream on Saturday.